My name is Mark Travers. I'm a research scientist at Roswell Park Cancer Institute, and I'm standing here at the entrance of our new Airborne Pollution Exposure Research Laboratory, uh, where we have a room where we can actually conduct experiments uh, with uh, different sources of particulate matter and airborne pollution, uh, for example, tobacco products, burning tobacco products. And we have a wide range of equipment uh, that we can use to measure the emissions from various products. Uh, we can measure particulate matter and different uh, aspects of particulate matter, uh, gases, volatile organic compounds. We have a wide range of techniques to characterize the emissions from different types of tobacco products and other sources of airborne pollution. One of the things that uh, we're working on here is actually a machine that we can use to automatically smoke a water pipe or a hookah. So we don't necessarily have to have a smoker uh, come in and smoke the water pipe. We can have a machine do it for us. And one of the advantages of that is we can control the parameters. So the number of puffs, the duration of the puffs, how much volume of air uh, is passed through the water pipe. So we can experimentally control those different types of variables and see what the effects are on the emissions from the water pipe. So today we're gonna do a experiment with a hookah or water pipe. And um, what we're going to smoke here is this uh, Nakla tobacco mint flavor. Uh, this is the, the shisha that we're actually gonna uh, use here. Uh, some of that uh, shisha has been packed in the bowl uh, of the water pipe. We have a, uh, a quick lighting charcoal briquette on top uh, that lights easily with a you know, lighter or match. We have Lisa Vogel here, who our, uh, our lab technician, who's going to go ahead and light this. So you can see that light up. There's actually a chemical in the charcoal that uh, burns quickly to get the whole, whole piece of charcoal lit. And Lisa's gonna go ahead and try and get this started. So she's drawing, drawing air through the water pipe. So what's happening is she draws through it, air is coming past the charcoal, that air gets heated, and that in turn heats the uh, shisha that's uh, packed into the bowl there and as that gets heated it generates some smoke that gets pulled into the um, base here uh, where the water is and that bubbles through the water through the hose and uh, into Lisa's lungs and you can see this uh, the smoke has filled up the chamber here so while this water pipe is being smoked we have some different air monitoring equipment here that's measuring what's in the air of this uh, of our laboratory here. Um, this is a side pack personal aerosol monitor and this is measuring the concentration of fine particles in the air. So uh, specifically it's measuring PM 2.5 so this is particles less than two and a half microns in diameter. These particles are easily inhaled deep into the lungs um, about 70 times smaller than the width of a human hair and we can see that quite quickly in this room, the concentration of particles is in the hazardous range according to uh, what the Environmental Protection Agency would say for outdoor air. So just a couple minutes on this uh, water pipe and we're already well into the hazardous range. Um, we're actually up close to a milligram per cubic meter of particles in the air right now. So not very good air quality as a result of this. 